picture in a few seconds. In the previous screen, how many animals were there? The answer is three. Did you get it right? If not, it doesn't mean that you're suffering from dementia. However, we still need to be vigilant against this sickness. Dementia can be simply classified into several types, including Alzheimer's disease or vascular dementia. In fact, if some insignificant symptoms are shown in the day-to-day -day life, such as poor memory and short-tempered, could be key warning signs of dementia. As soon as you notice this happening, you can relieve the symptoms or slow down the progression of dementia with medication. Automatic retinal image analysis can be used to assess the risk of dementia. The whole assessment takes only about 15 minutes from imaging to getting a report. The assessment will calculate the age-related white matter hyperintensities in the brain. White matter hyperintensities is one of the important indicators of cerebral small vessel disease. Although the condition is irreversible, progression would be delayed if early preventive measures are taken. Healthy lifestyles such as healthy eating habits including low sugar, low salt, high protein and high vitamin diets. Do exercises to stimulate your brain and strengthen your body in leisure time. As medical technology continues to improve, it helps to extend our lifespan. Therefore, we need to take early actions and get financially prepared for the long-term care service fees in order to take care of our aging loved ones. According to the data provided by Hospital Authority in 2017, the prevalence rate of dementia is estimated to be at 5-8% to among persons aged over 65 and at 20-30% among those aged over 80. According to a recent survey conducted by HSBC Life, the total cost of healthcare service for the elderly in Hong Kong was as high as 38.8 billion Hong Kong dollars in 2018. By 2040, it is expected to reach 126 billion Hong Kong dollars. In addition, there are 45,000 working adults in Hong Kong providing elder care service for their family members in 2018. 20 years later, the number is expected to be as high as 89,000. Unfortunately, if one of the family members suffers from dementia, it will certainly pose physical and financial burdens on the caregivers. It is never easy to take care of patients with dementia. Family members should better equip themselves with more relevant information, learning how to take care and communicate with the patients. To learn more about how to protect your family members and relieve your financial burden, please visit any HSBC branch or our website.